Bronx, graffiti writers gather at what they call the writer's bench. Keep your name the same name, but do it differently, you know? Make it have movement, make it have its own rhythm, its own soul, you know? And that's what it was about, you know, graffiti. <laughs> Graffiti is such a like no rules type of thing, whereas the rest of your life is kind of like you gotta be at work at a certain time and escape that's entirely separate from regular life. From, from trains, train, getting off. I have immer viel Wert gewollt, darum geht es auch beim Graffiti, es geht um Style. Graffiti is like a language that making me and other people communicate with the same channel that we have. The schools uh, have uh, courses in art. How about the mothers and fathers uh, of this uh, city saying to the kids, that's the wrong thing to do? You listen to them talk, they sound absolutely ridiculous. He's the king of the jacket yeah, out yeah. there. People that work down there 25 and 30 years have accidents. But his contention is that he's immortal, I guess, like most 17-year-olds are immortal. Right? Well, it's a matter of getting a tag on each line and each division. You know, you go, it's called going all city. People see your tags in Queens, uptown, downtown, all over. Believe it or not, the best thing about painting and training in New York City is that it went from the Bronx to Brooklyn, stopping in Manhattan in, in the middle. You know, or from the Bronx to Queens, stopping in Manhattan in the middle, you know? A train would travel Bronx, Queens, and Manhattan and Brooklyn, you know? Staten Island had his own trains and stuff, and we used to go out there and hit those too. And, and that, that was the whole thing, because we communicated to each other on the trains. Number four train, the two train, the one train, the three train, the six train, the seven. All there was is what there was there already, you know? And we saw it live, and, and that was, that was why I became who I am today, you know? There's no feeling like the feeling of painting a train. Even though nowadays painting a train ain't, ain't like it used to be, because back in the days, it was a competition. And you, you saw everything running, my piece would run, and then the next guy down in Brooklyn, he see my piece and says, I gotta burn that TK, so he would do something. You know, baby was 68, and then come back to the Bronx, and I see it, and I'm like, oh, he trying to burn and the, Yeah, that's piece. the first, that's about the third scheme. And when I ask him, he says to me, well, just so people see it and they know who I am. Everybody knows who he is, and so they see it, and so No, what? it's not a matter of so they know who I am. So they see it, and then after they see it, so what? It's a matter of bombing, knowing that I can do it, you know? Every time I get in the train, almost every day I see my name. I say, yeah, you know what, I was there, I bombed it. It's a matter, it's for me, it's not for nobody else to see. I don't care, <laughs> I don't care about nobody else seeing it, or the fact if they can read it or not. It's for me and other graffiti writers that we them. can... You know, they don't matter to me. Rex. Heard you hit the top 10, that was back then. Your favorite rapper probably didn't write the last time. Big bang bang. They call themselves writers because that's what they do. They write their names, among other things, everywhere. Names they've been given or have chosen for themselves. Most of all, they write in and on subway trains, which carry their names from one end of the city to the other. It's called bombing. And it has graffiti writing in New York is a vocation. Yo, man, this place is bomb. This is the transit system. They don't like it to be defaced. And they will at times try and uh, go to the extreme and try and apprehend you. The subway system is a very old one. And I've personally explored some tunnels. And I've found rooms where maps that were so old it might have been like the first train line that New York City had. Call it what you want. Just a lot of rock, a lot of steel, tomb, dungeon, under, under the city. A lot of writers have been down here, you can tell. Graffiti all over the place. Oh, Check it out. Years ago, it was pretty much a secret. It was secretly done. People wondered and wished they could do it. Not most people do it. When all the toys are like home sleeping, cuddling to their pillows, they usually have curfews. Come down in the wee hours of the night after the work is done their job. 
the sweepers did the sweeping they had to do. Just take my time and be creative. I think it's something you can never really capture again once you experience it. You have like live third rails and like crazy cops who, who come and chase you out. Even the smell you get, like when you first smell trains, like in a yard, is like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good smell to like a dedicated graffiti writer, I guess. When you first against the train, it's like, everything seems so big, like, wow. It's like you're in a yard of like metal giants and like, you're just like, I mean, everything is like so hard and like, so steel and like you're just there you're like a little dude you're like in the midst of all this metal and like you're here to produce something you know well you're here to like try to produce something Does your mother wonder why you come home with that all over your face? No, she knows I write the graffiti. I told her, I said, I'm going up on the train, so I'm going to go write some graffiti. Does she ever worry you might get in trouble? Yeah. She says if uh, the cops call, I'm going to come running to me. Um, I, I never realized they, they, it meant so much to them, you know? I just thought they were writing, just writing anything. But I guess it has a deep meaning. Huh? What kind of deep meaning? Um... Well, like he said, uh, he's writing his girlfriend's names, and he's dust, whatever that means. <laughs> what is dust supposed no, to mean? No, it's just a name. It's a word, you know. If I see it's a game, it's like they give you a name, and they say, here, take this name and do something with it. Like, he got the name Scene. He can walk around and just say, hey, my name is Scene. And I'll say, yeah, yeah, I see you back there, I see you there. It's a name. It's just like I'll give you a name, and you say, hey, how big could you get this name up? How high? 